Hi, this is Lindasha. Join me as I live out my best life and encourage others to do the same. Hi guys, it's Lindasha. So I just want to say thank you for watching my previous videos. If you're tuning in for the first time today, this is my third video in a series that I'm doing. You can watch the previous videos on success. They're posted on my Facebook page. The first one is about becoming a woman that attracts success. The second video is on overcoming one of the biggest obstacles all of us face whenever we're dealing with fear, whenever we're dealing with success, which is fear. And the third one is what we're going to talk about today and we're going to get straight into the topic it's about overcoming doubt so doubt to me is basically all of those voices that come into your head that try to convince you of why you shouldn't be doing whatever it is that you want to do these voices can come from parents they can come from other external forces they can come from your community sometimes friends Sometimes we're really not even sure they just arise out of us, but no matter what, there are those voices that really kind of get into you and say, you know what, you really shouldn't do this, or this is all of the reasons why this is going to be difficult, don't waste your time, etc. They are endless. One thing we should always remember about doubt is that if it's prolonged, it definitely will give rise to fear. And at the end of the day, the biggest issue with fear is that it paralyzes us. So I found in my life that doubt is that is the it's like the precursor to fear. It tells you all of the reasons why this won't work. And as a result, we can end up sabotaging ourselves long before we even start. So some points about doubt. Number one, doubt is not bad. At the end of the day, it is a voice that definitely should be considered before you move forward with anything. The thing about doubt is we tend to make it the the voice that's the biggest it's the one that's the loudest our the voice that's the loudest is not us telling ourselves all of the reasons why it will work it's not looking at all of the beautiful things that we have in life that actually aid us in getting to where we want to be a lot of times we allow doubt to be the biggest voice and it just stops us point number two doubt can be an aid in you operating more wisely so Sometimes we'll have all of these voices or we'll begin to tell our dreams to people and you'll hear all of these different comments and they can come from people who love you, you know, some people who may not mean, you know, you well at all. But at the end of the day, I believe that all comments should be considered, but they should only be considered after you know what it is that you want. If you go to others for approval a little bit too early, you can find yourself backing away from what you know your truest desires are. But other people's voices and even the doubts that creep up within yourself can often help you operate more wisely. One of the things that you can find is that if I, if I give weight to my doubts and consider, you know, is there a better way to do whatever it is that I'm going after? So doubt can actually be very helpful in you operating a little bit more wisely as it relates to your goals. So my third and final point about doubt is never let the thoughts of doubt ruminate too long before you act. At the end of the day, you cannot achieve any amount of success if you never do anything that leads you more towards your intended goal. And I know for me at this stage of my life, there are so many options that we have right now in the world that it can seem like, yo, just stop all the noise and let me figure out what it is that I want at the end of the day. And if you are in that place, if you feel like you're being pulled in all sorts of different directions, doubt can cannot aid in you going where it is that you need to go. So I would just say, don't let those thoughts ruminate too long before you act. And when you act, make sure there's a certain level of integrity within yourself. Know what it is that you're trying to accomplish before you go through it. And at the end of the day, speak positive thoughts to your doubt. Whether whatever you want to happen does occur or it doesn't occur, at least you're learning. And I think that's like 
the whole process, honestly. So that's it for the video on Dow. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please feel free to comment if you have other ways to deal with doubt and some of the things that you do. You guys, again, have a lot of wisdom in this area, and I want this to be a time and an opportunity for you to share if you'd like. All right, see you later. should be one of the voices that we ugh. <laughs> what was I about to say okay but I remember because I was like oh you can see straight up my nostrils no head down number one I don't think that doubt is is bad <laughs> and go endlessly and don't let it 